Good morning, Clint again, now I'm on Machine Shop in Pensacola. Uh, I want to show you how we go about balancing a standard shift flywheel. Uh, we got a flywheel here that a guy's going to be putting on a small block Chevrolet, which is internally balanced, so meaning the crankshaft, or I'm sorry, the flywheel and the harmonic balance are, are zero balance, uh, meaning they don't have any kind of external weight on them. Uh, the guy took a big block Chevrolet flywheel here and attempted to drill some holes in it itself at home to get it closed and then bring it up here and us to fine tune it uh, so he can put this on a small block. So what we're going to do is make sure this thing is perfectly balanced. Uh, whenever you look at the screen here, you see inside the big circle the radius and the plane. Uh, what that is, the radius obviously is half the diameter. Uh, so the center of that hub to the outside of the flywheel right here where the ring gear is, uh, from here into the hub, that's the radius which is seven inches. And the plane is from the center of the stanchion right here to right here where we're going to be drilling inside the flywheel. So uh, that's nine and a half inches. So uh, let's turn it on here and see how far out it is and see how much work we got to do. Flywheel turns at 500 RPM just like we, whenever we balance a crankshaft, we turn at 500 RPMs. It's read the program, so what it tells you is it's 17 grams out. Um, and if you follow the dial there on the compass, if we bring it up to zero straight up top, top dead center, that tells us where we need to drill. Okay, so we can actually drill some holes in this area here um, to amount to 17 grams to get it right. Or what we're going to do on this one is you rotate this down to 180 degrees. And what we'll do then is add weight to it. Uh, so what, whenever we look at the flywheel here, it's actually right in the holes that he drilled. So what happens is he just drilled it a little bit past, past flush on the flywheel. And actually his drill marks are, he actually drilled a little much and got it light. So what we're going to do is just drill, uh, weld some of these holes up that he drilled and uh, spin it again and keep doing that and fine tune it until we get it perfect. So uh, that's how you balance a flywheel to be perfectly zero internal balance. Thanks and have a good day.